have not been sharing a lot from the new catalog just yet because I, I really still am focusing on our current catalog and items that are retiring. But every once in a while, I'm gonna show you guys what's coming up. And then starting in about a week and a half, I'll just be showing you all of the new stuff that you can start purchasing June 1st. If you guys are interested in joining my team in June, you can order any of the items from the brand new catalog in your kit starting June 1st. And you'll be getting your catalogs next, I'm shipping them out um, next week. So you'll be getting them soon. You can start making your wish list on what you want in your pink stamper starter kit to join Stampin' Up. Okay, so this, let me explain. This stamp set so cute. I have actually made two cards with this, but I'm only gonna show you one today. This is called Feathery Friends, and you can color it if you want. And I do have, um, there's another card that I made, I'm using the tulip. This one I'm only using the stem and then the sentiment, but the sentiment is so awesome. It says, um, let's see here, it says, you are amazing, remember that. So I made this card for all of my customers who so far have ordered the um, Premier, Premier Palace, wait, sorry, Eastern Palace, prim, either Eastern Palace Bundle. I can't speak today. So anyone that ordered is going to get the card that I'm showing you today. Even if you're going to order it in the future, this will be the card that you get. All of my customers get an exclusive thank you card from me that I mostly make 100% myself. My, my assistant did help me um, cutting out the flowers on this because it, it was taking forever, so she did help with that. Okay. This is called Feathery Friends. I want you to look up at the top here, and it says Hostess. So this is one of our Hostess sets, and I want you to take a really good look. When you, we, We're not allowed to open the catalog yet on camera until June 1st, so I can't really show you how that works. But this is a Hostess set. A lot of my customers, a lot of you guys, purchase 150 or more, right? You save up so you can order 150 and you get the rewards. So with the rewards, you can get any of our hostess sets. So you cannot just purchase this on its own, which is unfortunate. So it's a great opportunity for you guys to invite your friends over, maybe do a book show where you're showing them or you're, you're referring them to my, if you want to do a referral party or a online Facebook party, let me know. I will set you up your own hostess code. We'll start this in June for you. Your own hostess code and anyone that orders from my online website with the hostess code It'll go towards your party and then you have more opportunities to win. And there's another really cute hostess set. There's actually like six. But I'm gonna show you another one next week. But this one is Feathery Friends. This is one of my favorites and I haven't even played with the birds yet. But anyway, I'll talk about this on another video. Um, okay, we're using the Lemon Lime Twist. If you guys ordered either of the new um, Eastern Palace bundles, this one came, this was one of the ink pads. It's our new in color. It's my favorite one. I think I'm gonna use it on almost every card, so I'm so sorry if you're gonna get sick of it for my customers. And then I'm using basic black. I'm using a one inch, our one inch punch, circle punch. And then I'm using the petals folder, petal burst. Yay, I remembered the name. I was, usually I write them on here and I didn't write it on here. Petal burst um, folder. And I'm using these fun and bright colors. Yay, are you guys, I love these colors, they're great. I might go ahead and edit this and then add this for my video today. I might as well, since I'm making it anyway, right? Why, why uh, reinvent the wheel? So I'm also using the Eastern Medallion Thinlets. These are amazing. So I saw these when we could pre-order them, and I thought, oh, I don't know if that's my style. You know me. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Yeah, I love it. It's totally my style. <laughs> There's so many fun things. I've now made about four or five cards with this bundle. So it's just, there's so many intricate little delicate fun things you can do. I do have a couple videos showing this with um, the scalloped circle around it. You guys have seen that. I have about two on there right now. If you guys wanna go check them out. Okay, so which one I'm gonna use. So I'm, and this one actually coordinates with the Eastern Beauty. Starting June 1st, if you don't wanna get the whole Premier Bundle or the, the starter bundle, which are great deals because you get so much in them, Starting June first, you can get this um, by itself as a bundle, or you can get the stamp set or the medallion, Eastern medallions by themselves. Starting June first, but until then, I would take full advantage of the opportunity. Is that right? Full advantage to get these new bundles because you get so many free things. Okay, so I'm just using these two right here, and we'll start with that. I'm going to pull out my big shot. This is my big shot. So for all of my other um, die cut users, and you haven't tried the big shot yet. 
I'm in love with this Big Shot. I honestly haven't pulled out my other machine in over two years. In over two years. I have not missed it. I'm sorry. I hate to say that. People ask me all the time, do you miss it? I really don't miss it because I'm having so much fun with my Big Shot. And what I like about the Big Shot is there's the stamp sets with the coordinating framelits. And there's not so many designs and so many sizes that I'm overwhelmed. So this is very specific. And I really like that because I think sometimes when you have too many choices, you get a little bit overwhelmed. And I did that a lot. So this really helps me to stay focused and to stay, you know, realize what I want to do with my project. So I'm using Melon Mambo cardstock. And I'm going to use this flower looking medallion. And I'm going to stick... What I love about this is all sorts of little pieces that you can do together. So you can do these individually or you can do them together. I'm going to do them together and I'm going to hope that that is a good, there we go, good frame. And I'm going to add my, I'm using the precision base plate. I 100% recommend this plate. If you're purchasing the Big Shot from me on my online store, I will send you one of these plates for free. But this is the best plate for intricate cuts. I'm going to do this. Roll it through once and then I roll it back toward me because it's really intricate, like I said. And then you can just pull this up and it'll stay on there because it, if, if you wanted to just keep that on your paper and pull this up, you could. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumb and just rip those off, those pieces off, like that. Super easy to do. Or you could take little snips or a blade or something. This is just super easy just to pull off like that. Just pull it. Try not to break it. And then you're going to have a sweet flower like this. I'm going to set that aside for a minute. And now I'm going to use my paper piercer. Hi, Sarah. I know, Deborah. don't you love your Big Shot? I absolutely love mine, and I use it about once a day. Most of my online classes right now, we're using the Big Shot in the online classes. So I will try to remember those that don't own it yet and incorporate more regular classes. I think I'm going to do a repeat class of High Tide today. I'm going to post that. I've had some interest in that. So if you want a class and you don't own the Big Shot yet, you'll definitely want my High Tide class because you don't have to own the Big Shot. But it's fun when you guys do the classes where we're so interactive and we're using the die cuts and you get to keep everything in your class which is fabulous about my online classes or my classes in the mail you get the stamp set you'll get the ink pad you'll get the framelits if it comes with framelits and they're yours forever and you can make lots of fun projects with them okay so I'm just doing this yes this is a little bit probably tedious you should ask my assistant Jenny because <laughs> she had to cut I had her cut I think 70 of these in preparation for making some cards. I said just cut 70 and she did. It took her I think a few hours to do it but better than me doing it and she has fun doing it. Okay so isn't this a cute 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 flower? Well just wait because so I had her cut those. I knew that I wanted to use this flower so I had her cut a bunch of these and I hadn't designed my card yet. So sometimes, I know I get a lot of questions like, how do you find inspiration? Sometimes you just start with one element of your project, one element of your card, one element of your scrapbook page, or your box, or your bag, or your tag. Sometimes you just have to have a focal point or some inspiration. Start with that first, and then build around that and go from there. All right, so now what I'm going to do is... Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now I'm using... This is the platform that comes with your Big Shot. So if you're ordering one of the new Big Shots from me, this is the, you're getting a multi-purpose, and there's also a thin piece. I have it up on top of my table. I can't reach it. There's a piece that comes off, and you leave it on if you're just going to do regular framelits, but you take it off if you're going to be using any of our embossing folders. So this embossing folder will be sandwiched in between that. If you're using one of our dynamic, new dynamic uh, embossing folders, you don't need the bottom part. It just goes directly on top because they're thicker. Okay. But I do answer that. I do have a video tutorial on my YouTube page, Robin Stamps, and I'm walking you through. Oh, I didn't do what I need to do first. I walk you through the Big Shot. So if you're interested in learning more about the Big Shot, check that video out. I know, Sarah, I didn't think I'd like this um, bundle either. I didn't think I'd like Eastern Palace. I'm like, oh, no, but I love it. Okay, so I'm using the punch, and it fell on the ground, so I'm going to do another one. This is our one-inch circle punch. There we go. 
and I'm using this is lemon lime twist cardstock. If you guys want to watch this later in a video, I will have all of the item numbers on the screen for you if you'd like to put them on your wish list or add them to your next order, what we do sell. Okay, that's current. Okay, so I'm going to put this little thing, and it's fun because I made a bunch of these cards already. I think I did make 70. I put as many of the circles in here as I could fit. I think I could fit 12, 12 at a time, which is great. You don't have to do this one at a time. And you could also, when you're embossing, you can use two pieces of cardstock at one time. And I do that a lot in my classes when we're prepping. You will see, oh, you won't see it, but I do layer two in here. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. And now, oh wait, where's my card base? I'm gonna have to go get the card base. Let me see if I have one. Okay, let's start with our card base. And I don't need this anymore, so I'll put it over here. Okay, this is our Whisper White Thick. And I'm gonna cut it down to five and a half. I don't know why this one is bigger, but it is. Five and a half. And it's by eight and a half, so it's five and a half by eight and a half inches. And now I'm going to score it using my Stampin' Trimmer. I'm scoring it at four and a quarter. Super easy. So I'm going to fold this in half using my bone folder. And this is a nice tight crease. Let me kind of see what I'm going to do. Okay, so now I'm going to take this piece here. This is our Whisper White Regular. And this is cut at three and a quarter by four and a half. So this isn't your typical size. And then I'm using our Lemon Lime Twist ink, ink Pad. Okay. Hi, Nicole. It's me. Hello. I'm going to ink this up right here. It's just, I, I, needed, some, I needed a stamp set that had like a stem, a vine, or something. Because I'm trying to make this into a really cute flower. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our basic black ink. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment. You are amazing. Remember that. Because that's so important. Because you are amazing. I love you guys. I love you. Hugs and kisses. Squish, squish. Okay, the next thing we're using is Lemon Lime Twist Cardstock. My new favorite color. I love this. Ew, it's so pretty. I love it. I know, Nicole, you're going to love them. I love the new colors. Okay. So you guys can start ordering the cardstock on June 1st. And it's my two year Stampin' Up! anniversary. So I'll probably do something fun in the month. Oh, I have to switch. There we go, I need some refills, you guys. They're over on the other side of my office. Okay, so I'm using our snail adhesive and I'm putting it on the Lemon Lime Twist cardstock that is cut at three and a half by four and three quarters. Did you guys get that? I will Again, I will have this on the screen I will have a shortened video version that, that everything that I don't want them to hear will be cut out. That's how I do it when I edit it. Okay, and I'm going to add this on our basic black cardstock. This is cut at five inches. I'm sorry, three and three quarters by five inches. Did I already put the adhesive? Yeah, I did. I'm going to put that on here. Now I'm going to add this. I love it! Having the lemon lime twist behind here just makes it pop. Out. Isn't that so beautiful? And I'm going to add this right here. And I have a nice thick border around here. I've been doing that a lot lately. I just think it makes the card look precious. Precious! Or like my, my 19 year old would say, presh. It makes it look so presh. Okay, now we're going to take this circle and I'm going to put one dimensional. This is These are our Stampin' Dimensionals. My favorite, 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 favorite. You guys! I'm sending out catalogs next week, you guys! I see all of my customers on here. Ne new catalog. If you don't, if you're not on my list and you're not one of my customers yet, all you have to do is place any size order on mypinkstamper.stampinup.net and I will get a catalog in the mail to you next week with everybody else's. That's all I require. I, I no longer just send them out to free, for free to everyone. It was just costing me thousands of dollars to do that. And so I just require that you, you know, sign up on my page and do, you can do a small order if you'd like. Any size order is totally fine. We're going to add this flower on here. And, ta-da! Is that so cute?